Jared takes this as about as seriously as he takes C-SPAN. Could he be any more pathetic? <laughs> Media News, episode 143, A Pinch of Treason. Hey folks, how you doing? Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for, it's time for Jeffy with his what? stopwatch. <laughs> you want to start over? No. <laughs> well, we might as well now. Why? Because you were doing a b -b 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 thing. I thought you were ready. I was. Well, I, see the red, I see the red I light. Was. I assume we're ready to go. Yeah, oh, let's leave this I... one just as it is like yeah, this. It'll be I'm, behind I'm, the scenes. I'm, I'm... It's behind the scenes with Media News. How do you like it so okay, far? Okay, so anyway, yeah. uh, <laughs> Media, Media News, News. Fine. He's Media News is coming to you from... Uh, it's coming to you from this place where we sit on stools and just talk You betcha. Alternate reality. We're just looking at the intersection of underline the Kenzie. Beautiful downtown Mount Green. We're spinning gold here, folks. <laughs> Alternate reality. Your all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone. This is an all-franchise edition of Media News. Now they know that we're actually doing this. And, and, and I'm not breaking the third wall. And this is episode number 143. This 143. Is and I'm JR. And... And there's Jeffy behind the camera, yeah, and there's Jeff. Bo over there, sitting over there, and there's Uncle and, and, and this is our and script is our right sky. here. Okay. And our first story is going to be right Director right. Todd matter, Phillips. Matter of fact, you want to just read it yourselves? Because we got stuff, yeah, here. We got, we got stuff to here. do. Let me know yeah. when you're done. When you like Let it. Let me know when you're done. Director Todd Phillips. How you feel? Three hangovers just planned. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> our next story. <laughs> we are uh, we're a couple of lazy uh, bastards today. We don't want okay, well anyway, anyway, there's another hangover. Anytime you movie. want to pull a plug on this and there's start over again, you let me know. <laughs> no, we're good. There's another there's hangover movie. Sure, what the hell? Hey, oh, 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 JR. <laughs> what? I hear that they're talking about a third hangover film. Yeah, of is course, that true? Because this one made six gazillion dollars. Six to gazillion? Buy. Six gazillion. And there's a third And they're getting coming. sued because of a tattoo. And, and they're, they're they're actually looking for cities to do it, and it's probably gonna be Amsterdam. Imagine the hilarity with the sex trade. Wow, I can't wait to see that. And the drugs. And the drugs. And the drugs. And the the rock and roll. Gary and Indiana would be better. And Gary and Indiana would be that would be fabulous. <laughs> I might actually go to see that one. <laughs> So yeah, another hangover's coming. Great. What's That's our next great. story coming from, man? <laughs> oh, what do you know? We're going to get a Pirates 5. Pirates wow. 5. And the reason we're doing that one is here, it, it's right underneath. Yeah, that story there. The, you know the why we're we getting did. Pirates 5? Why would... JR, 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 JR. Why yes. are we getting a Pirates 5? I forget my name. It's JR. <laughs> it's, uh, why are we getting Pirates 5? Yes, I just why? read this morning at boxofficeguru.com. <laughs> That the world you mean wide, you go on the internet to get these I news? Do, but it's gas I thought powered. it came gotta, out of your head. No, my internet's gas. I have to pull the cord. Else, huh? Since 16 days, Comic Book Man, yes. it's been out for 16 days around the world. Seven hundred million dollars. That's oh. not even real money. God, <laughs> help me. Six seven hundred million dollars in sixteen days. What's wrong with you people? Yeah. It's Cut a it fun ride at Cut Disney. What's wrong with you people? I'll turn this car around. Yeah, so we're getting another one, and and they're looking at another director because because the guy that directed. What's the name of that one? Batman right at Great America? Why the hell did they make a movie out of that? Don't give him ideas. Rob, Rob Marshall may not want to direct the next Pirates movie because he's oh. already doing a remake of The Thin Man with Johnny Depp. Oh. <laughs> for Disney? Uh, I, I don't know. He's making it for yep. me. Okay. I asked him to boy, make it. Johnny, Johnny Depp, Dark Shadows right yeah. now. Lone Ranger Lone coming Ranger, up. Another Pirates. Pirates film. Thin Man. What what's he what's he trying to do? Actually become a movie movie actor? No. No, he gave up acting a <laughs> few years ago. Tom. As Who's soon as he put on the eyeliner and started acting swishy, the actual acting went out the window. Started acting swishy? Swishy? Swishy. swishy. Uh, so so they now they now they're looking at other directors. And you know who they're looking at? Who? Tim swishy Burton. Directors. Who? Tim is, Burton. Is, 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 oh, he can ruin is, is this continue? Uh yes, okay. yeah, yeah. Tim Burton and Sam Raimi are contenders. Yes. Uh for for the next film because Rob Marshall's leaving to do the thin man, which I definitely we're not reading. This it's at all. the top of no, page three right here. We're not reading this at all. Just I can't imagine that Tim Burton's going to want to do a fifth Pirates movie. Why would he want to jump into a franchise? Tim Burton? Tim Burton, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's well, the female lead on the Thin Man? Well, movie? it depends they on. They haven't cast the female lead in the Tim Burton. It depends on what movie. freaks they put in it. <laughs> Seriously, it depends on what freaks they put in. The only thing Burton's interested in doing well, there's is plenty freaks. Of freaks. There's a guy with a squid beard. There you go. And then there's people with with like sea I can do hair. something with him. I it's, can do something. Well, we got mermaids him. too. They got mermaids and ask zombies, any mermaid you happen to see. What's the most tired franchise? Pirates 3D. Hey, that uh, rhymed. How about that? That rhymed. They're they're making money hand over fist apparently though. Seven hundred million. Dollars. Because you people are giving it to them. Suckers. Thank you very much. Suckers. Uh, what else we got coming? Got to take a right turn into into manga very briefly, very yeah. briefly. Uh, Albert Hughes is directing Akira. 
Well, they're, they're, the is? rats are abandoning the sinking ship, comic book uh, man, because uh, everything's been go it's been put on hold because they determined that the budget would be two hundred and thirty million dollars to make this thing. And how much bad press did they get for not hiring any? Uh, any well, any the bad accidental press, actors. The, the bad press was is that the, the rumors floating were Keanu Reeves was going to star yeah. in the thing as as a forty year old teenager. Once upon a time, he was supposed to play uh, Cowboy Bebop. I yeah, think. that went down the down the tubules okay. as well, and they were going to change the uh, the locale from Neo Tokyo to. New Manhattan. To Los Angeles. New Manhattan. <laughs> new, 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 new Manhattan. Which will look an awful lot like Los Angeles today. Albert Hughes has bailed off of the project. Keanu Reeves is off of the project. It looks like this thing isn't going to happen At anytime all. soon. Well, it'll probably happen, but not anytime soon, and not with those people. Well, all you Akira fans, you'll get over it. And now we're done with that page. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, Tim Burton says no to we what? Of, we have a lot of Tim Burton, don't we? Yeah, well, none of us is, hey, none of us is actually strong Hey, great news. Tim Burton actually kind of wised what? up and said that, you know, I'm doing this Dark Shadows movie, but I yes, sure ain't doing it in 3D. Oh, why no, not? No, 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 no. Well, too because, dark. Because, yeah, you can't see nothing in 3D. <laughs> It's 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 just too it's too it's too it's dark. Yes. He's gonna do he's gonna do other movies in 3D like Frank and Weenie. He's doing a feature <laughs> film version of Frank and Weenie, which was his. Thank his you. Poke yeah. your eye out, kid. But no 3D, which may be the beginning of the end because 3D has lost its luster. Comedy. Well, I thought I thought 3D was dead. Bo, didn't you say something about 3D being dead? Virus is domestic. Well, there was so uh, Bo says we don't like the 3D anymore because pirates. Well, what? <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Oh, here he comes! Oh, he got off his here ass! Nice going! He got Comic off his bear. ass! Nice going! <laughs> oh, nice going! Apparently, the fine folks who made the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean they asked people who after after they left the theater what they thought, and they went, "You know, we're really getting tired of this 3D <laughs> thing. You're kind of overdoing it and beating it in the ground." And uh, so the studio said, "You're probably right." <laughs> And there was some kids' film that recently came out where 45% of the film was 3D and the other 55% was 2D. And was the that studio, Thor? Uh, no, it was a kid's... Not, well, Mars Needs Moms? Mars Needs Moms. No, it wasn't Mars Needs Moms. One, it was something else. But nobody it came, was 1D. No, but nobody... Very few people went to see the... Less than half went to see the 3D version, so the studios are all but up in our... every film that opens up is in 3D. It's kind of like... I honestly don't think 3D's going anywhere because of people like James Cameron who are going to beat that horse until it's completely dead into the ground. Thank you, James Cameron. Yeah, thanks, James Cameron. So Thank it's not going anywhere, but I think a lot less film. So Tim Burton said no. Thank you, Tim Burton. We don't need every damn thing that comes out to be in 3D. One film we don't need in 3D is The Lone Ranger, no. which is still gearing up for pre-production. Yes, it is. And we actually have a Lone Ranger now, comic book man. Clinton Spillsbury. <laughs> no, no. Clinton no. Spillsbury. Uh, no, I told you the story. Clinton dropped off the face of the earth after that movie. Nobody's did you ever look him up? He, I did. He no, I look. I, I, I Wikipedia him, and nobody's been able to find the man since that movie <coughs> came out. He did nothing, literally nothing in media after that. He's no hiding television. In, he's hiding in God's crotch. No, but, <laughs> which is, if you're going to hide in somebody's crotch, that's the one. That's you the best be. place to hide. That's but the best. I'd hide there. Army Hammer. Which is a funny name. Arm and Hammer? Army Hammer. Is, who, who played the Arm and Hammer? Is he some political no. guy? <laughs> no. Army Hammer, who played the Winklevoss soda. twins so, in yeah. Social Network, the Facebook movie, has yes. been cast as the Lone Ranger. He's 24 years old, which means that Johnny Depp is 48, which means Tonto is twice as old as the Lone Ranger. How you feel about that, Kevin? Okay. Lone Ranger re envisioned as, as Obi Wan Kenobi, apparently. <laughs> That's, that's no, my no, no. Tonto re envisioned as Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, is that what, didn't I say that? What did I well, say? Well, you said Lone Ranger. No, I'm sorry. Tonto. Is Obi I'm so, Tonto, I'm Tonto will be Obi-Wan to to the younger Luke. Uh, the Lone Ranger Luke Skywalker. Lone Ranger. Exactly. Come on, but Ben Travis talked like Tonto. Go ahead, Natasha Stacey. It's a power converter. <laughs> moving on. You moving on. What are we moving on to? <laughs> We're moving on to, if you watch the old filmation, uh, Tarzan. Uh, this is a, let's call it a link. Tarzan, <laughs> Lone Ranger cartoon oh, right. show. Then you know I'm doing this Tarzan. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> story specifically for that reason. Remember wow. the old filmation? I do. Yeah, yeah, and Zorro was in there too. Zorro's Zorro's story? Yeah. No, Zorro's story. no Zorro's we could if you. I can make yeah. one up. Uh, Tarzan's <laughs> coming from Warner's. Tarzan's Tarzan, from Warner's. yes. Warner Brothers is going to do, they want to do three films, a three film Tarzan trilogy thingamabob. Craig Brewer, who directed Hustle and Flow, and the upcoming Footloose remake is attached to so direct Tarzan the first film. Manhattan? And this is going to be, it's not going to be an updated version, it's not going to be a post-apocalyptic version of Tarzan. Oh, I don't want to see it then. It's <laughs> going to be the Edgar Rice Burroughs version of Tarzan. So he's not going to New York? Uh, no. <laughs> if, well, if it's really going to be Edgar Rice Burroughs, he's going to Wisconsin. Kind Wisconsin of well, yeah, Wisconsin, yeah. <laughs> That's where he shows up. But for those of you who know what we're talking about, read the first novel, the last two chapters, yep. I think. Yep. Yep. He yep. goes to Wisconsin. Yes. Swear to God, yes. he goes Lord to Wisconsin. Creighton. Lord Creighton Lord ends up in Wisconsin. He goes to Wisconsin. Uh, Waterpark. Craig Brewer. We're gonna get Tarzan. We're gonna get the 
actual Tarzan. And our last story up. Our what last story up. Uh, this, uh, this I heard. Uh, I actually heard this on the news. News news, not this news, but the news news uh, earlier this yeah, week, this and it's about uh, the Flintstones and Seth MacFarlane. Da, da. Yes, Seth, Seth MacFarlane is already kind of doing the Flintstones, a modern version of it with Family Guy. Yeah, sort, kind well, of, sort of. Yeah, well, anyway, Fox wants him to do... No, he's doing that about as much as the Simpsons are a modern version of the Flintstones. I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, well, it is that dysfunctionally family thing, but uh, Fox wants him to do uh the flintstones yeah as a new animated television series for fox yeah. um it, it's actually this property is actually owned by warners which i did not know that it's owned okay. by warner brothers uh they well, have, no hannah barbera yeah hannah barbera yeah. um uh, and Hanna warners Barbera. owns all the all hp the, stuff exactly, yeah, exactly. So, think, but, think, but you're think you're made, boomerang you're boomerang that's true but this is going to be made for oh, fox television Barbera. you know flintstones uh, is a honeymoon yeah, that exactly, would be thank honeymoon. you bo that would be why they own it yes thank uh, you the only thing yeah for those of you who haven't heard Warner's bought Hanna Barbera. That would be why bucks. they own it. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess originally this this project had stalled for a while because they wanted to talk to McFarland about the tone of it. I think they were worried about uh, what what tone this. Bend was. over, Wilma. <laughs> <laughs> but as uh, as it turns out, I got a Bronto burger coming and, in. Pebbles got her period. Everything. Yeah, got her period. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Wow! Everything I want to see. I want to see Dino talking with a martini. <laughs> Everything will be fine in, in, in the town of Bedrock because it's it's going to happen. The Flintstones is coming back to television. Will they still be a modern Strange family? Of course they will. Oh, that'll be great. Will they cancel American Dad? Uh, I hope, I so, hope so because I just don't. I do not. Get I hope so. Although true. although I did see I did see which I posted on my Facebook page a very brief primer on on American Dad about uh, the Iran Contra thing done up like Schoolhouse Rock. It lasts about a minute and a half. And for all you young kids out there who don't know anything about Iran Contra, you watch that and you'll pretty much have all the bases covered. It takes a whole minute and a half. Yeah. And they, do an, they did an excellent job of that. It's up. the only thing I've ever seen come out of American Dad that's worth spending yeah, any that time show with. is just so creatively bankrupt to me. I just don't... Uh... You know, I can't... I'm amazed that it comes from the same production yeah. company and the same people. Yeah, it's, a, uh, it's almost like it's different folks making it. Yeah. There it is. Anyway, that's it. We're done with Finish Rider. We've got no more media news, but you can go to the store's website, check out all the media news wait, wait, that Bo sends me. <laughs> that I yeah, post up. Start again. <laughs> and JR's huh? reviews. My reviews, they suck. And where's the store's website at? Hey, Jeff, where is it? Where no, is it, gonna, Jeff? We're going to do this again. Where's Jeff? it at? Where's the website? It's Jeff! Sarah! Oh, well, then you'll want me to undo this then, <laughs> won't you? Well, what do you want on this budget? www.myalternaterally.com so go to the store's website and check out all of his news and his reviews. And until next time, this views is Comic Book Man. And, and this is not Comic Book Man. And we're saying to you, bye. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> the Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.